When you develop a new product out of an idea all the way through market, there has always been a need for prototypes, which can be used for design evaluation, testing, proof of concept and as bridges to volume production. Injection molding, CNC machining and urethane casting are the common manufacturing processes to create the desired parts, whether that is prototypes or end-use parts. However, there are quite a few differences of those processes that should be considered when choosing the right one in different stages of product life cycle. 1. Manufacturing lead times. Every manufacturing process requires time for production arrangement. Machines setting up, surface treatment, packing solutions, delivery, etc. Those factors are predetermined. Factors that are unable to be confirmed, such as the company operational capacities and current workload should be taken into considerations when determining manufacturing process in terms of lead times. Different companies have different manufacturing lead times. In general, Injection molding project needs 3 to 5 weeks. CNC machining and urethane casting usually takes 1 to 2 weeks. 2. Manufacturing cost. For injection molding, the total cost of injection molded parts mainly consists of mold cost and the cost for the molded parts. For example, an aluminum tooling usually costs more than $1,000, depending on the complex geometries materials and finishing options. Part quantities starting from 1,000 pieces for injection molding technology are deemed to be economically. The good thing is that the mold can be used repeatedly. Certainly, mold replacements are required if the part quantities are higher and higher. For CNC machining, the single part cost is relatively higher than injection molding cost. The cost of machined parts includes engineering cost the raw materials and the manufacturing time and more. Engineering cost is mainly about the transforming CAD to CAM, which usually a one-time fee. Raw material is another factor affecting. The complex geometries or the hardened material dominates the manufacturing time, following by the fluctuating manufacturing cost in CNC machining. For urethane casting, which is also called silicone tool vacuum casting, is a manufacturing process for low-volume parts out of urethane resins. The costs consist of master model, silicone mold and the parts and more. The tooling is usually the silicone material, which can be used for 10 to 25 casting and lead time. Master model is usually made by 3D printing or CNC machining. This is a relatively economical process for the lower volume plastic parts, like 10 to 50 pieces. Comparing with two other manufacturing processes, Danke Mold provides rapid tooling and injection molding, as well as CNC machining and urethane casting services, to help with your product development and production for your parts. Welcome to contact us via info at dankemold.com.